Hello my lovies and welcome to the Oscars. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different things that I am putting together for this coming Sunday to celebrate the Oscars. Now obviously you do not need to be celebrating the Oscars in order to consume these things. However, this is what I like to do. This is my Super Bowl and just the same way that you gentlemen go out there and you paint your bodies and do all that crazy stuff and spell out the name of your favorite team and have everybody sitting next to each other all that crazy fun stuff I like to get dressed up for the Oscars hair makeup jewelry craziness and I'm wearing this fabulous sparkly dress so I'm just going over to my parents place it's just gonna be the three of us that are going to be celebrating together but it's something that we do every single year my sister doesn't really get involved she's it really isn't her deal so um, my parents and, and my sister have something else that they do all the three of them together at another point throughout the year so where I would like to start is with a Kier Royale now there is nothing else that is quintessential about the Oscars than bubbles and I love bubbles so I have this little tiny bottle of bubbles right here. This is fresh nut and um, super inexpensive. They come in a little set of three. So the other two I'm going to bring with me for Sunday. My mother doesn't really drink a whole lot, but my dad, I know he'll, he'll enjoy the little um, bottle of bubbles that I bought for him. So um, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of creme de cassis and this is simply a black currant liqueur and we will take a third of an ounce of that and place it into the bottom of my glass so I'll just quickly pour that and that's probably more like a half of an ounce however I like my creme de cassis so just pour that right into my glass and then these little guys they're not super expensive so they are screw cap and I will just now pour the rest of that into my glass and that will just create an absolutely beautiful color and oh that's gonna taste so yummy so of course I had my fluted um, champagne glass sitting in my freezer for a little bit just to frost up the glass a little bit I think it thawed a little bit too quickly for me but Oh well, but now I'm going to get onto my appetizer that I will be bringing. Now, mom, I this is Wednesday that I'm filming this. I will be making a whole entire new one on Saturday night, so don't worry. I've got some something a little bit more spicy because I like spiciness, but everything will be all fresh, brand new for Sunday for the three of us. So I just have a nine inch Pyrex pie plate right in front of me here and the very first thing that I am going to do is start off with a block of cream cheese now this has been sitting out for a little while and um, I don't think it's quite soft enough yet so what I will do is take this and place it into my microwave for about 45 seconds just to soften that up and then I'll be back to show you what I'll do next Okay, so this has been in my microwave for about 45 seconds. Just like I said, it has softened it up just enough to make it easy to spread all over the bottom of the plate. And I like to cover the bottom of the plate pretty much completely just to make sure that no matter which scoop you're taking you actually get a little bit of the cream cheese no matter what now I have some refried beans and this isn't there isn't any extra flavor in these like these aren't some uh, like hot sauce or um, jalapeno infused or anything like that. This is just normal, regular, original refried beans. So I'll go ahead and spread that over top. This is the second layer of the seven layer dip. This is a family favorite. I've been making this for absolutely years. 
Then I have some black olives. They have been sliced. I actually sliced them up myself. I made the mistake of buying them whole. Thankfully they were pitted, but um, I didn't quite realize that they were not already sliced, so I did that. And then I've got some green onions, which I chopped up as well. And just go ahead and place that all over. And then finally, jalapeno peppers, and I'll just place those all over. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. What else is new? I know I say that every time I make food. <laughs> I love food, I think you can tell, but um, my mother doesn't actually like this, so when I make it for the family, I make sure that I section off a little part of the, um, the dip so that she doesn't have to partake. I have um, <laughs> little toothpicks that I line up and so that it indicates that that's been done for her and it makes her very happy. So, all right, so that's done. And then the final part of this process is Monterey Jack cheese. And this I bought with jalapeno um, and chili pepper in the cheese itself. I love this cheese because of the meltability. It just does a really good job of flavoring. It isn't a harsh flavor, so it isn't going to take away from the flavor of the rest of the dip. And now all you would do is simply either place this into your oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes or in your microwave on high for five minutes. I'm going to place this into my microwave on high for five minutes so that I can show you what it looks like once, uh, once it's been done and then I'll give you the full meal deal. All right guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This has been in the microwave for five minutes. It has, it's a little bit bubbling. It was giving off some spits and whatnot inside of the microwave. But now I've got some stone ground uh, corn tortilla chips. So these are 100% gluten free. This entire um, meal or entire appetizer is 100% gluten free and of course the champagne and the creme de cassis is 100% gluten free as well. This is not necessarily what I would pair this with. I'm going to start out the evening or the day afternoon of celebration with the champagne and then move on probably to a rum and coke and enjoy that with, um, with my seven layer dip and tortilla chips. I want to thank you so much for spending a few moments with me here today. I appreciate your support for you watching. If you liked what you saw, please give me a great big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell that will let you know the next time I upload a video. Follow me on Snapchat, on Twitter, on Facebook and Instagram. I keep those updated as much as possible. If you wanna share this with any of your friends, please hit that little share button as well. That would help me as well. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much.